Okay. Some people may dislike God. Some people may blame God for not protecting them when they was younger. Some people may blame God for the death of their mother, father, or whomever. Some people may blame God because they may have been sexually abused when they was younger. And let me say this. Let's say God is very mean, rude, cruel, or whatever else. Let's say that he is this awful God, which he isn't, but let's say he is. Can you defeat God? Can Satan defeat God? Can demons defeat God? No. If God controls where you go, heaven or hell, Whether you like God or not, isn't it wise to try to do what he wants? Okay. Let's say the speed limit, let's say you are driving, right? And let's say the speed limit is... 35 but you are late you are going to be late for work so you want to drive 55 so you don't like that speed limit of 35 so you drive 55 miles miles per hour what is going to happen if you get caught I believe you will be punished. I believe life is already hard. Why put more weight upon yourself than necessary, I guess I can say. Like, if you are already carrying a load on your back, why add to it? If what you have on your back is already heavy, why add to it? Whether you believe God is a tyrant or an unjust God or whatever you think, I believe it is in your best interest to try to obey him because what can you get if you disobey him? Like, aren't you harming yourself more than God? How is it beneficial to you to go against God? Okay, you had a very hard life. Okay, your mother or father did this or that to you. Okay. And I guess you blame God for it. Okay. How can you win going against God? Please think about that. Let's say you love Satan or demons or whatever. Let's say you had a very hard life and you want 
to join or stay on the side of evil, how can you win? Whatever God allows, whatever he does, what can you do about it? How is rebelling going to do any good for you? If you can't defeat God, if the person you are serving can't defeat God, what is the point? Back in my past, I forget how everything was, but I think I did not like God much. Okay. If I am remembering correctly, I think it came to a time to where I got tired of bad things happening to me. I believe so. And I think that is one of the reasons why I started to try to do what is right. Along with something else, but I believe that was one of the reasons. Now, at that time, I don't think I loved God as much as I do now. What is your point, Kevin? Whether you are mad at God, whether you hate God or whatever else, how is it helping you? Let me say this. Back when I was perhaps a child and a teenager, my mom back then, and she still is, she is a Christian woman and back in my past I did not understand much of what how can I say this back then I believe I did not understand much of what she did involving me in the past you know I used to think that she was like too strict or whatever else and so as a child I think as a child teenager and when I get a bit older as well you know I had this whatever against my mom I did when I started to try to do what is right, started to try to learn more about God, I believe I started to understand why my mom did this or why she did why she did that. Back then, I was immature and I believe immature I believe immaturity Some people may believe, well, you know, this person is 30 or 40 or 50 years old, so they are no longer immature. I believe that is not true. Back then, I had immature, maybe still. <laughs> Back then, I believe I had more of an immature mind, I guess, toward the things of God. But now that I, I believe I seek God and I understand more of godly things, I can understand more about why my mom did this or that. Now, we all aren't perfect and there was some things that, you know, I probably don't understand now, but as of now, 
I believe I understand why she did some of the things she did. Okay. You may hate God now. You may disagree with God or whatever. Is it possible you are still in immaturity? So if you begin or try or learn more about God, perhaps you will understand what is really going on or whatever else. So perhaps the problem is not God. Maybe it is you. Maybe you don't understand. I was talking, I talked with a person, maybe I should not say this, whatever. I talked with a person and I believe this happened back in the past and I believe that person lost I guess their faith in God or became atheist or whatever else because something happened. Well, let me not talk about that. Let me stop here. God bless you.